Hey YouTube, this is Terrell and I'm back with another video. If this is your first time watching, I want to say welcome to the journey. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Today is day one of me returning back into the school building. Um, the students return back on next week, although the staff across the whole district is required to return back today, where we kind of discuss, like, you know, the district policies and you know, orientation and all those videos all day long, which of course can be virtual due to COVID. Um, although I'm very excited because it's going to be my first um, official school year um, as a school social worker. If you have seen my previous videos, um, you know I recently went to transition to this role back in March of this year. So this is day number one of me in my first official school year for the 2021-2022 school year. Uh, I'm super excited. I will be taking along my journey on today, hopefully. If it's not... Um, too stressful or I'm tired to too many different things. But again, if this is your first time watching, I want to say welcome to the journey. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos and stay tuned for more. Here we are going down the kindergarten and first grade hallway in my building um, to help students be able to get to their classrooms. We put down the numbers or the letter for kindergarten, of course. Today we're able to get to the classroom or get to the right classroom, of course. Uh, we also have some decals on the floor that the PE teacher put down over the summer. As you can see, we have some hopscotch, we have some zigzags, we have some stones and some uh, frogs down in the back. Um, it's going to be a cool and exciting way for students and teachers to transition in the hallway. So I'm definitely looking forward to seeing students be more vibrant and uh, having more laughter and fun while I transition in the hallways. Um, as you can see, I'm still down the first grade hallway to get to my office, which is located all the way at the very end of the building. So um, when I'm definitely having to go somewhere to the front or, um, or classroom, I definitely make sure I map out my day and utilize my time wisely because I'm literally at the very end of the hallway of the building. So down the first grade hallway, I go. There's some more decals on the ground or the floor. Um, we got some leapfrogs over there. We got some stones. We got some logs. And we got some footprints. Um, we got some numbers. So five different decals on the ground. And they're all throughout the building on each hallway or fourth and fifth, uh, second and third as well. So I'm still going down. And coming up is my office. I have a nice quote by Kobe Bryant. Rest in peace to him. And, of course, my name, the school social worker, Terrell McKay. Hey, you two. This is Terrell, and I'm back with another video. Today is day number three of me returning back to the building for the first week of um, life as a school social worker, I guess you can say. Um, of course, as I mentioned um, on day number one, that the kids return back on next Wednesday. So, we're one week away from the kids returning back um, to a school year. No virtual learning, all in person for um, my school district. So it's going to be definitely an exciting year, an adjustment year, but we're going to make it, right? So as you can see, um, I'm in my office currently. I did make a few adjustments and changes, nothing really too major. I just moved my desk around a little bit. Um, I also want to apologize. I didn't capture anything on yesterday because yesterday was literally an eight-hour uh, professional development training for the district. So I didn't really capture much footage. Uh, typically, you know, when we're turning back on the uh, for staff, we typically do professional developments and trainings in preparation for the school year. So nothing really major. But today, my plan and goal is to try to get some video footage, if possibly, or possible. Um, so please stay tuned. And again, like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. All right, I am back. As you can see, I was over there on the computer checking my emails, which is something that I do each and every morning when I come into the building, check my emails, check my voicemail, go ahead and map out my day and map out tasks I need to prioritize for the school day. Um, as I mentioned in this video already, 
Uh, yesterday was full of professional developments all day long uh, via Zoom, which can be very hectic and overwhelming. So what I did was went back and printed out the presentations from yesterday so that way I can have that resource for the future school year, um, which is some great information that we went over, um, behavior interventions, uh, which I'm definitely going to be looking forward to utilizing with the children in this upcoming school year. Um, definitely recommend this if you're a school social worker. Take advantage of any professional developments that you can take in um, and absorb because you're going to definitely need it in, um, working with children and families. So I'm definitely excited because, you know, when I came in March, it wasn't really much professional development I could actually partake in. So I'm super excited that my district does offer a lot of professional developments. So I'm taking all the information in. Again, if you have not uh, subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe for more videos. Again, like, comment, and share on your social networks. Um, I will come back, hopefully for today, to record some more footage. If I don't, I do apologize in advance. I really, really do. I, I try my very best to get as much footage, but we know I'm turning back for staff. It is super busy as we prepare for next week, which kids come back in my district one week from today so again if you like what you see please continue to like comment subscribe for more videos and stay tuned for more okay so real quick i want to come back and show a few more footage for today which is day number three of them returning back to the school um of course like i said in this video all school staff had to report back on this week in preparation for next week which is the first day of school for our students but um as you can see um, well, you can't see. <laughs> it's 3 o'clock and I'm still at the school because I have some reports that have to get done. Um, our school was chosen to receive 150 free laptops to distribute to our parents and our families for this Saturday. So I'm kind of getting that ready today to get submitted so that way they can be all set for this Saturday. Um, I also just got back to my office. We got some nice PPE equipment that our district and our school provided. You know, it's a starter kit for the school year. We got some um, Lysol wipes, some hand sanitizer, I think some face mask, and a lot of different lots of stuff in the box. But I um, just wanted to show you guys and close out this video for today. I will be back tomorrow, uh, back at it again. Um, I also did get the shoot that we got some school supplies from a church, which is a new partnership with us. So definitely busy, and I um, just wanted to, like I said, capture. Uh, the day in the life or week in the life of a school social worker. <laughs> I guess you could say the beginning uh, school year. So again, if you like what you see, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos and stay tuned for more. Good morning. Today is day number four of me back in the building uh, for the 2021-2022 school year. On yesterday's um, snapshot that you guys seen this video, I was working on my emails and all of that stuff. But today I'm going to be in a training pretty much all day. And today's training is going to be in regards to the MCV or McKinney Vento. Um, I do serve as the MCV liaison for my school, so that's serving our families who are in transition. Um, as you know, for the MCV or McKinney Vento, that policy pretty much speaks to any families or students who find themselves currently in transition. So those are our families who are identified as uh, being homeless, but I like to say in transition. Um, so. I won't probably get much footage because the, the training is all day, of course, virtually, but um, I probably will come back to maybe share some information I received from the training. So again, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe for more videos, and welcome to day number four. Hey YouTube, this is Terrell and I'm back with another video. Um, this is day number five for me of returning back into the building for staff. I do apologize for not getting much footage. I've been pretty much running around this building and this campus all day long today. Today we were afforded the opportunity to have some volunteers on campus from Coca-Cola who grace our campus um, by beautifying the outside perimeter area. Um, you know, we have a garden outside so they pretty much put new flowers and they put in some vegetables. They, um, we had staff volunteers inside the building helping out our uh, staff. We're getting the classrooms ready for next Wednesday. Um, moving boxes. I've been busy. <laughs> uh, literally from 9 o'clock until probably about 12 or 1 or so. So right now in my office kind of getting stuff ready. Um, shredding some documents and um, just trying to get my mind ready. Um, I will say for Monday, which is open house, but really my mind ready for tomorrow, which is the distribution date for my district, for my school, to pick up free Chromebooks that were donated um, to our school. So tomorrow I'll be headed to a high school campus here um, in my town 
to uh, assist with that from about 9 to 11. And then I have a back to school event for my church. So I've been, I'm going to have a busy weekend, busy week. And um, just want to get some footage a little bit. Again, if it's your first time watching, I want to say welcome to the journey. Um, life of the, we go to social worker, school social worker that, you know, it's definitely is going to be, um, you know, for those who are interested in going to school social work or social work in general, your day is not the same every day. It is definitely different. Um, so right now I'm just, just rolling with the punches. So, um, I hope I was able to show, showcase some type of, of, uh, capture or some type of, um, idea of what my job consists of. Of course, it's going to be even busier come Monday. Um, so again, if you like what you see, please be sure to stay uh, tuned for more videos and continue to like, comment, and subscribe. So I'm printing out documents for my MCV uh, students as far as like the uh, attendance contract and um, you know verification forms, consent forms, and I printed out the uh, not the updated contract for this year, it's for last school year, so I gotta find the, the new one. I hate wasting paper, <laughs> by the way. It's also gonna be my goal to um, do more social work videos this um, upcoming semester. Especially school social work related. Um, maybe do a video on um, the interview process. Or maybe do an interview on the um, more de detailed and licensure process. I don't know. Just if you have any suggestions for social work videos, or school social work videos in general, just drop them down below in the comments. Oh, this is the right file. Let's see I hate wasting paper. Well, now to my stack of stuff to file, I mean, to uh, shred, and that is the only one that I have. My computer, nope. I don't even want that one. So let me delete that. I, mean, I still can use it's the same language, but it's just um, the, the year is incorrect. See, I probably hear that yelling. It's not uh, the, the one of the teachers next door to me, to the right. She's yelling about something. I'm not sure. Uh, I don't know. If y'all like vlogs like this, please let me know, and I'll be sure to do my very best to do as many vlogs. Um, of course, you know I try to make sure I maintain confidentiality, so I won't definitely record anyone especially no children um, so I do my very best to record as much information or capture much footage as much as I can of course um, here we go oh so that one is not updated that they have that's the issue. I didn't even pay attention to that. So I'm going to download it to my computer. And just update the date, the, uh, the years pretty much. So I have a desktop and a lap, a Chromebook, and uh, the desktop is so slow.
another cool um something else that's cool that I'm excited about is that I'm gonna be implementing a boys group or I would say gentlemen group at my school this year. Um, I'm looking to identify grades three to fifth and something that I mentioned to my principal that I don't want to be the overall focus is what we deem or call our high flyers. So our students who you know, need additional support in some different areas, you know, whether it's behavior or you know, whatever the case may be, I wanted to make the group open to all students. Um, so they won't just be simply about students who you know have behavioral concerns or already have supports in place already. Um, oftentimes in the school you, you end up missing the students who fall under the radar because they're in class and not really seeing much. They're sticking to their, they're staying to themselves and not getting in trouble so I won't notice them. So I'm gonna be a critic group where they're able to have additional supports and, and you know feel that they're heard as well. So I'm definitely excited about that. And um, hopefully I'll be able to capture some footage in regards to me planning and preparing for that uh, group. Um, I mean, different ideas I want to do for that group. It's like different um, activities around um, life skills, um, maybe some etiquette courses or classes. Um, since it's like a, a gentleman group or a young gentleman's group, definitely want to do something on you know self-image and um, how to properly communicate to others and um, you know activities, discussions on respect. Uh, of course, SEL implementation the focus as well. So. Definitely excited about that opportunity, and um, hopefully, I'm, I'm hoping for the best for the school year with that um, group. So my computer is frozen. And something that I do appreciate and enjoy is that the um, previous school social worker did leave a lot of different uh, resources and um, items that I was able to utilize um, for the school year. And I, I really do appreciate that. She didn't have to do that, but she did. And so I'm forever thankful for her doing that. This was old, I feel like. Some of those. Oh, 
if I don't have to use them for sure. So this is why I have a hard time doing vlogs. And I guess I can call this a vlog because I don't know what to say. <laughs> Just be sitting here working. Uh, if y'all enjoyed that, y'all let me know and I'll keep it up. I don't know what to say. Yeah, so she did keep a lot of um, stuff that I should be able to utilize um, in my work. And I appreciate her for doing that. Um, more. Lots of stuff that I have to trade, and it's ridiculous. Our building will be open on um, tomorrow. I won't be coming here because I have so much I have to do. I also have to um, go get fitted for a wedding. So, I already know I'm not coming here tomorrow. This is stuff I should have done, um, but I didn't do. Um, a while back, <laughs> but I didn't do it. So now I'm paying for it. But this is getting done slowly but surely. So. You know that I'm going to go ahead and close out this vlog again. I truly appreciate you all for coming along this week with me. This is hopefully I was able to share some good information or show a good snapshot or idea of the life of a school social worker. Of course, like I said, this is our uh, week for staff to return back to prepare for the next week, which is the beginning of the school um, for my district, which starts on Wednesday for all grades first to fifth. I think kindergarten come in. Their official day on the 30th. So, um, again, if you like what you see, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Um, please, down in the comments below, add any suggestions, um, any ideas, or any topics that you want to see uh, for future videos. Um, if you're a school social worker or you're a spine school social worker, tell me. Um, you know how your first week was and um if you're aspiring school social worker you can tell me what you're looking forward to when you get into the field so again i thank you thank you thank you for enjoying this video please share this with your social um your social media handles and again stay tuned for more